Hello there my sexy subscribers, my name is Besticles and today's video is going to be how to revive Destiny. And how can Bungie help Destiny come back and bring back a community that we once had. So it's going to be 8 tips or 8 tricks or 8 you know whatever Bungie can do if they ever watch this video. Maybe give them some fresh ideas. Let's get started. Tip number 1. Um, most basic tip out of all pick out of all tips is uh, add more exotics. You know, it's the basic of the basic. Just add more exotics. Mm. Number step two. No, oh, this is where it gets juicy, guys. The second thing they can do is add a cool feature that other MMOs have, and it's called styles. For example, you know how you have your 320 gear, and you know how it's the highest of the highest gear, but the style isn't. You know, it isn't what people like. It's it's dark and it's cool. What if you can change your clothes or the way you look, but keep your 320 gear on? For example, have the 320 Hollowed Knight helmet. But there's a new styles tab on Destiny. You click on it and you have all these helmets that you previously picked up that you already collected. So you and your friends can see uh, the Graviton Forfeit helmet as a style, but really underneath you have the 320 hollow knight helmet that is awesome it's an awesome idea and it could really add some spice to the game so you don't have to get stuck with the same style because of the gears the highest so a style tab in the game the third tip would be reviving old raids and nightfalls so bringing them the 320 so for example, the Vault Glass can have four options at its current level, you know, how it has the normal and the hard, and then two new options would make it 320 normal and hard. You know how many people would come back for Vault Glass or Crota's End at 320? They're amazing raids. People don't play it because it gets no replay value, you get no new guns, but imagine that. Bungie, listen, reviving old raids is the way. That's how many MMOs have survived these dry, long periods of times. And it doesn't have to be nightfalls or raids, it could be anything, just 320 or what the current level is at. So instead of having one raid to do, King's Fall, you could have three raids to do and get some replay value. The number four thing is new fun PvP modes. Wouldn't you guys like to have swords on swords fights only, 6v6 just pure swords? Or swords with soccer. So like instead of you know running around there's two goals. And your sword is like your your foot when you kick the ball. And there's a huge ball in the middle. Sort of like Rocket League. But with swords. I mean they could have a bunch of new game modes. Fun wacky game modes. Heavies only. Heavy and specials only. Or snipers only. Imagine having snipers quick scoping. Hard scoping matches. It, it's wonderful. I mean it brings back. Lots of lots of replay value. This is what they did on Halo with the um, I don't remember what it is But they would add these funny wacky modes and they could do it monthly. So every month is something new But speaking about monthly I will get to that uh, Another thing that this game is missing and I don't know why they haven't added it yet is a new chat system the chat system we should not rely on going to third parties like Destiny LFG to find people to play with. There should be one chat, one main chat that we can type in and that we can put, we can have on the bottom left, transparent. And when you need it, you can pop it with the select button on your PlayStation or the back button on your Xbox controller. And it's the whole community all in one chat. So you can type in, I'm a 320 hunter looking for King's Fall, and everybody in the world that's playing Destiny right now sees your 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 post. And they can pick you up instead of going online. It makes more hassles and it makes it just it wastes time. You want to get in and out, so a new chat is required. Come on, come on, Bungie. This has been going for a long time. This game is already two years, and you guys don't have a chat. Now, this is one of the strongest points I have, and it's sort of like communism. It's only like not communist. It's sort of like the utopia. It looks good on paper. But it doesn't work. But this is completely different. It could work. Just hear me out. Monthly DLC. It sounds crazy, but it works. Hear me out. Instead of waiting six months for a DLC when it comes all big and packed in one thing, 
and releases us after the second or third month of the DLC, the game was already boring. We already did everything. People grind this game 24 hours a day. People don't stop because it's, it has, you know, it's a really good game. But what if you can split the content of that, you know, of that one pack into into months? So, for example, the first month. The only release would be the new Nightfall. Oh, I was great. The new Nightfall, just that whole month. The second month will be the, will be the release of the new world. You know how the, the Dreadnought's new, right? So, the new Dreadnought of that new DLC. That second month only. The third month will be the new Raid, normal mode. The fourth month will be the new Raid, hard mode. And the fifth month would be the new Raid, challenge mode, which is what they do. But, you know, the sixth month could be a new PvP match or a PvP map. The seventh month, it just goes on and on, and by the time we get to the replay value of the six months, we already have a new DLC coming. So, yes, they could build all this up and just give it to us all at once, but, you know, all at once is fun, but it gets boring. So, split it into six months, we'll always have fresh content to go with. Also, with, you know, the PvP matches, the wacky matches, this could all bring back the game. The eighth tip I have would be bringing a trading system between Guardians. For example, selling spin metal, you go farm spin metal, now you can sell it at this trading, you know, you know a trading station in Destiny where Guardians can trade between each other for money, for glimmer, for a new value, new currency, for example. But you're probably saying best of goals, but there's not much to sell. Well, if you take consider the styles tab that I had, you can sell crazy awesome helmets that have that don't raise your high level, don't raise your light level at all, but the cool thing is you can wear them, and that's awesome. Imagine wearing a, a fucking flame helmet with, I don't know, spores coming out, but having your 320 Hollow Knight, these things could be amazing. They could, a new trading system could be revolutionary if they know how to take control of it and how they can help improve it guys these are my eight tips of how to bring destiny back but it all comes down to bungie bungie's the guy the head honcho and they're they're the percentage they're they're the higher the, the higher ones they're the elites these tips share them guys share them to the world and my name is Besticles. If you guys enjoyed this video, titty slap that like button for me. And if you want to become part of the Boob Army, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Goodbye. I don't need a dime, bitch. I'm still a high roller.